it's time to dive in. In this video, I'm gonna dive deep into each of the new, from Zavi, Film Vault. It's a new series they're doing. They released the first four. We're gonna go through each of them in detail. I'm gonna let you know what I think. Should they make more? Will I buy them if they do? Let's find out. This is Deep Dive. Right off the bat, honestly, can we talk about how huge these things are? I was not expecting this when I ordered these. The pre-orders for these dropped about mid last year, 2022. I'll be honest with you, the price tag shocked me just a little bit. Picture wise, I was like, okay, these are some pretty cool additions. I already own all these films though. But one thing that gets me is artwork. And if I can just say all four of these editions, wow. New artwork that I've never really seen before used on any physical media release, except for one. But I kinda had to have them. And I'll be perfectly honest with you, I only ordered three of the four right off the bat. There's two reasons for that. One, the price. Because if you were gonna order all four of these at one time, you were looking at well over $200. But when I got the three in, I had to have the fourth one. So let's start with the film vault number one. And it's for the original Blade Runner, the final cut. This artwork, I love it. I thought when I saw this, I thought, yes, I love this slip sleeve that they have here. Again, the size of this thing. As a size comparison, this is a standard steelbook. It's huge. I was really caught off guard by this. <laughs> Besides the amazing artwork, and not knowing the size, but now definitely the size, the contents of each of these, I was very impressed with. And I was still on pre-order. I wasn't sure if the price justified it, but I went ahead and bought three of them. Let's dive into Blade Runner. Film Vault Edition. So first up, we have number one, Blade Runner Final Cut. Again, huge box. I know a lot of people are not a fan of the rating system on the spines. I do wish these were stickers. They are not. They are printed on the spine. If there was a way to do the rest of the series with stickers so these can come off, that would be awesome. And again, same on the front. They are printed. This is a sleeve, it slides right up, takes that frame and title away. It also takes away all the text on the back and reveals awesome artwork of Harrison Ford. Cover is a full wraparound image. This opens magnetically on the side, just like this. And you're greeted by another beautiful piece of art that slides right out. This is just a giant envelope that contains a lot of your photos and photo cards. More text on the back. I like that it's something on the front and back. It's not just a plain, just solid nothing. They actually took time and effort into this whole thing all the way around. Inside that envelope we have a poster that is not going to fit in the full screen, but there it is in all of its glory. This is a one-sided poster, nothing on the back. And then we have almost 8x10. If not, it's pretty close, but these are very glossy. They do have literature and more pictures on the back of each one. If you would like to read what's on the back, just pause the video. Trust me, you don't want me reading. I love that one. That's a great concept art one right there. Let's 
that one did not skip on the materials. This is very nice photo paper. Nice gloss, high def images. More storyboards, that's always cool. I like to get storyboards and concept art. That's super awesome. And concept art here. Awesome. And the remainder of this, this is what houses the discs. And this is the acrylic number plate. They made 3,000 of these. This is number 1346. I'm gonna start this. This is the one main flaw of all of these is the weight of this acrylic plate. In the process, once this was manufactured and wrapped, all the handling from the manufacturer shipping to Zavi, Zavi stocking, Zavi pulling, Zavi shipping, you receiving all the hands that this exchanges, the weight of these acrylic plates slosh. And what happened was when this was received, this side, the cardboard had folded in on itself. So this was sliding, this stayed in place, but this was just sloshing back and forth. It wasn't dropping, it wasn't doing, it. no damage was caused to the acrylic plate or anything here. This ripped a little bit and it was sloshing back and forth. This happened on three of the four. So you will see that as we go on. But these are pretty cool. They give you these nice little pull tabs and these acrylic plates are very nice. I mean, it's a great little thing to do. You know, it's just printed on the back. So as you're looking at it, it gives you kind of a 3D effect. If they're gonna continue this, and I hope they do, they just really need to work on either a more secure housing or better adhesive. Because this folded in on itself Honestly, that fold right there was probably me just trying to get that piece folded back up so I could get it back in place. But it slides in there nicely. I like how they gave you the pull tab. They same thing down here. This is what houses the discs. And this is, this was another great feature. I'm actually gonna put this away or at least back it up. This was another great feature in the, uh, in the promo pics of all this was all of the different artwork that we got. So there's the cover, there's the back wraparound image. All the different artworks within the layers as you open these editions. And this is just a fold out. I mean, look at that. The fact that, that like they took the time to make that work. And once you take the discs out, and there it is with the discs out. I just, I just love how the work they put in on these. And you're gonna see this on all four editions. It's just, it's just great, great packaging. Absolutely great. So there you have Film Vault number one for Blade Runner, the final cut. Film Vault number two, Goodfellas. Again, look at that artwork. That is awesome. I love that. Out of the four, this one and number three are the two that really caught my eye. I love this artwork and the fact that it's the cover. Again, I'm super big on artwork. I'm super big on packaging. This is impressive. Let's, let's dive in to number two of the Film Vault, Goodfellas. Here we have Film Vault number two, Goodfellas massive size like I was saying still same thing you see on all, all editions these rating systems I meant to mention this on number one this was the promo picture that you found when you were pre-ordering these editions nowhere in here could you possibly guess that these things were going to be this freaking huge but there you have it just like before clear slip sleeve comes off takes away the title and the framing reveals this amazing artwork I Love this image. It is absolutely beautiful. Wrap around on the spine. Great high def shot there. Opens with a magnet yet again. And here we have the inside shot. A familiar shot. This was actually found on a Steelbook Edition. Still love it. Great quote over here. Awesome image. 
just like the other film vault, this just comes right out and this houses all of our um, glossy photos and some goodies. With this edition, we actually get a two-sided poster. Nice theatrical image there. And kind of just a widened version of that. You would see in the movie lobby. And more high gloss photo cards. Not as much detail on the text than the first film vault release, but still cool. I like that you get little quotes. And again, you'll be hearing me say it, the quality. These are awesome photo thickness prints, great images, super glossy. With your usual premium editions, you get the smaller prints and maybe some collector cards, but I like that they went all out and gave us these larger. Oh, they they had to. That why they have to edit that? That's super rude. Anyway, this one again. This did have the issue. I was able to fix it with less damage. Uh, I think that first one was my trial run. Uh, again, 3,000 were made. This is 1710 of the 3,000. Again, with the pull tab. I do like that the other edition had its color pull tabs. This has red pull tabs. That's super cool. Nice acrylic number plate. This is cool. This is, you know, this is their way of being different. You usually get a card or just a sticker on the bottom of the release. So this was a cool little thing. This not, but then again, those are probably why it's so expensive but <laughs> I still like it. Nice little artwork on this. This slides off just like before. And we have that image that connects together. On the back, this is another wraparound image. When you open it like this, very awesome. And we have more quotes, the two discs. When we take the discs out, that is awesome a wide shot of your three main characters. That, that was a really great use of placement for that image. And I love the, that the, uh, the image used in the background is just a complete wrapped image that takes up the whole thing. They, they did an awesome job with image placements on all four of these releases. And that was Film Vault number two, Goodfellas. Number three of the Film Vault collection. I mean, seriously, like seriously, this this was the other one that just when I saw the artwork being used, I thought, wow. And and again, I was expecting these to arrive in like a standard size, like premium full slip type of size. So to get this artwork this big, that just that just made it all the more just for me. <laughs> I was super excited, but th this one comes with some really good goodies too. So let's take a deeper dive into Film Vault number three, Scarface. Here we have number three in the Film Vault series, Scarface. Love, love, love this artwork. This is amazing. I think that that was probably out of the four, my favorite. I love it. You take this away. All the blood stays. That's that's awesome. I like that the on all of these. I like that the image wraps around on both sides of the spine. That's super cool. Great image on the back. Classic image of that. Again, magnet open on the side. And you're greeted with this. Every dog has his day. Love this. This one would have been cool if they actually would have put texture to this. This is more of a print texture. This is still just regular old paper not a thick cardboard but it would have been actually cool if this was textured but let's see what kind of goodies we got in this one no poster in this edition but you did get this green card that's pretty hysterical to be honest with you that's awesome and we also got smaller cards of your main characters if you will and they also still gave us these giant super glossy cards kind of like blade runner these have a little bit more on the back 
that you can read. Again, if you want to read that in detail, just pause the video. Awesome images. Again, I love the attention to detail. We get the gold tabs here. This was another one. Again, same problem with uh, shipping. Um, nobody's fault, really. They just need to use better adhesive. Again, 3000. This is 2983 of 3000. Slides right out. Get a closer look of the acrylic. If they just put uh, this one, actually, I still need to fix a little more. See how you can tell that's dipping back in there? The adhesive just needs to be a little better or the cardboard needs to be a little tougher. But if you do get one of these and you hear some sloshing around, that's what it's gonna be. It's a super easy fix. You just get a little screwdriver, get in there and flap that cardboard piece back out and then it will stick to the adhesive that's still there. Oh, that's cool with the, with the bullet holes. I like that. Take that right off again. Great imagery. I'm not sure if I mentioned it on the past two. These are glossy and finish. Very nice. And then we open it up and we get this just amazing piece. Let me take these discs out. Absolutely great image. Love the wraparound background again. Another great, great version right there. And this has been Film Vault number three, Scarface. Film Vault number four. Now, I'm going to be 100% with you guys. This was the one I skipped on. Out of the four released, I thought, you know, this one, as great of a movie as it is, this just really didn't grab me like the other three did. But then once those three arrived, I jumped back on Zavi. And thank God they still had this in stock. So let's take a deep dive into the Film Vault number four, 1917. Here we have the Vault number four, 1917. I like the white on it, honestly. I'm a fan of a bright box. It's not a bright, bright white, it's an off-white. Take off the slip cover. Image wrapped around both sides. It's kind of a theme here. I really like it. Great image on the back. Crack open the magnet. And we're greeted with that. I just like how simple it is. It's really, really nice. Take this out. Our folder full of goodies. Let's see what's in this. Out of all four, this one kind of came with the more unique gifts. This little fold out with the photograph inside. A couple of photographs. I thought that was a really nice touch to put that in there. I thought that was a great idea. This one also came with a smaller glossy cards with quotes on the back. We've got four in this size. And the larger glossies that come with each edition each having a little bit of literature on the back. And more smaller pictures. I like these behind the scenes images that we get on these. It's really nice. Again, limit of 3000. This one was number 1247. Like the army green color of the pull tabs. Very cool. This was the only one out of the four that this wasn't moving around, but you can tell it was getting close. These corners right here. 
hopefully someone at Zabby will notice and we'll get that situation resolved in future vault releases. Nice texture print. Slip that out. Another glossy. Disc holder here. I love it. I love that they do these images that just work together. That's super awesome. Let's get these discs out and see what's behind there. Great image behind the disc. This being the last one I'm showing you guys, I will let you know those discs are in there very, very well. Be super careful. And that was the vault number four, 1970. I mean, just as like a showcase piece, these all together on a shelf, I wish I had enough room to turn each of them with the covers out, but I'm running out of space fast. But this is impressive. Th these are on the top shelf. They have to be because they're so damn big. I'm gonna be honest, the price really had me hesitating. But as long as they don't go any higher than what they were, I'll definitely continue on with this series. Two things I would say toward the future of the film vault. One, don't release four at a time. If I were to have purchased all four of these at the same time, that would have been a huge payment up front. Huge. I would say going forward, I think the film vault should just release two at a time. The other thing I would say, kind of like y'all saw in each of the videos, as great as the packaging is, those acrylic number plates really need to be looked at because the, the weight of them, and once they're wrapped up and they're being handled, whether it be uh, from the manufacturer to Zavi, from Zavi to the buyer, there's a lot of sloshing around happening and the adhesive used was not strong enough to hold three of the four of these in place. I was able to fix it. That part was fairly easy and it's not gonna come out again unless I start throwing these things around. But just overall, I think that they need to look at either a, another design or a stronger adhesive to make sure that those stay in place. But that's it guys. The Film Vault, I think, is going to be a beautiful series. As of today, two of the four sold out. I'm going to put a link to all four in the description because if by any chance Zavi ever restocks, those links should work. Thank you, Zavi. These are a great addition. I'm not 100% sure if the inquiring everything blue had anything to do with this but if so i see what you're doing i see what you're doing but these i will definitely continue buying just re don't release four at a time please because man my wallet was hurting thanks for watching the first episode of deep dive this has been the film vault and we'll see you next time